I'm sick and tired of counting blessings. Blessings. Lost some shit that hasn't even happened. Damn me down. I don't wanna learn my lesson. I'm so numb. Yeah, nothing is upsetting. This life, man, I lost all my patience. I'm sick and tired of people always trying to take. So please tell me, won't anybody try to help me? All these fake friends finna fail me, and all these moms sell me so. So please tell me, won't anybody try to help me? All these fake friends finna fail me, and all these moms sell me so. Then all my dollars so nobody can betray me. Oh, what's going on with you, YouTube? Joe Chris here. We're going back at y'all with another vid. What we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Union Dunk, I believe this is called the Court Purples of the last passport of the pack. We had three colorways. You guys had the Pistachios, which was a Union, union exclusive. I believe they did drop in uh, Sneakers at pa uh, sneakers Pass though. And then we had, but I believe these also did drop on Sneakers app. Core Purples, I believe these also came in other tier zero stores too, in other sneaker boutiques, because they actually came out my local area. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about the Core Purples, man. We already did my videos on these two. Now we're doing with this one. And this one is probably my least favorite, which is not a bad thing. I still think it's a fire shoes, a fire colorway. I just say out of the three, I still say the pistachios is still my favorite colorway. Just because I just, I like it better. All that white look into here, the little bit of purple in the yellow stitching and this is a bright yellow stitch it's not the gold like a like a lakers but it still has a little laker vibe to it you guys can see the outsoles too as well now the union dunks i actually do like the union dunks quite a bit i like the materials they put on here it's something different from other dunks you know um i like everything about with the translucent sole and i do like how you can cut these up if you guys want to take a look what's underneath it it is uh some leather underneath this little um netting i want to say you know it reminds me a lot of that off-white five over that netting on some shoes but if you cut up this is gonna be purple this is gonna be white now i want to say with the core purples uh there wasn't a lot of these this is the first time i was actually able to get these things or actually see these things in hand when they finally release uh, i've seen these quite a bit a little early i do like what union did with the passport dunks it had that whole theme of traveling from you know la to tokyo to um What's another one? It's, it's all kind of stuff. It's basically the passport of traveling. And that's basically my life right now. So this just kind of goes perfect with it. But I, obviously, a lot of people are going to be upset about how the, the release was. It was definitely for the dunk, per se. It was It was very bought out. But there were still some Ws on manual users. I think compared when these two, they released at the same time. These two pairs here, the Aragons and the Core Purples. I think a lot. I saw a lot more people got more Ws on the Purples then the Aragons, I think maybe Union maybe had more pairs or something, or maybe just because I feel like a lot more, you know, the resale price on this one wasn't, wasn't as high compared to the other two. With that being said, it's still a good shoe, even though this is the lowest one, but I still think it could potentially have time to catch up with the others. Um, I still think the, the pistachios are still going to do the highest because this is supposed to be the more union exclusive and to me is a more better colorway. But they should do just fine. I think these things could raise up in price in due times because, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, I can say it, you know, in my opinion, it, it has a little bit more of that like that purple vibe to it with the yellow and the white. You know, my wife really liked this colorway compared to the others, you know. With that being said, if you guys want to look at the market right now, the Aragons and the Core Purples are basasically doing about the same. These things are at low 300s at my size. Bigger, bigger sizes are touching, you know, like mid 300s and, and high 300s. Um, and the pistachios, if you guys didn't see these things, these things actually went up. These things has went up to about 450. Uh, I was actually getting pairs at 400 before, you know, all the other releases, and that was actually a really good time to buy them. But now they kind of went up. I, I I kind of see these things kind of continue going up a little bit. But these things, I have a feeling that these will potentially catch up with the pistachios. Not maybe as high. Like, I still say the pistachios are going to still be, you know, higher than these two colorways. But they have potential to kind of catch up a little bit. As in, like, I can see these things going up to at least low 400s. 
maybe touching like high 300s you know going around the range and same with these and even the pistachios these things are like like i said they were down now they're at mid 400s with all the releases right now is probably the lowest price point to get these things if you are trying to get them i say probably try to get these things now because they're around 300 320 i was trying to buy up pairs at least three around 300 and i got a really good price on some of them um i think some prices are gonna still continue to continue going up in the in long term i will try to get these things right now this is a good price point to get these things right now before i think they will go up in the future you know uh especially with other uh union drops uh, later on is our potential to at least do some decent amount of numbers i mean it is three around 300 is still pretty high to invest in so if you don't have the capital obviously i wouldn't do it but um if you guys can and then these things go up there are gonna be some good movers too as well i think this is one of those union dunks that at least a lot of people's gonna end up liking it's gonna be some easy movers too as well like people's gonna actually want to look forward to get trying to get these things you know it has the union name you just had the drop of the union two so that kind of built up a little bit more hype on the union name i feel like with, even with the twos those as when they start to come in those prices are gonna go down as well um but obviously prices do have potential to go up they're gonna go down like where they are right now they are down try to get them to buy the dip now for them before they go up and then you have to pay even a higher price so anyway guys but anyways let's just go ahead let's take a good uh quick little review on these things huh things first let's take a look at the boxes just like on all the union dunk boxes is here you get the passport look alike inspired by like you know the plane tickets and then inside you guys see it, it has a whole passport vibe to it to amsterdam it seems like and also tokyo all kind of traveling canada shout out to canada a eh? so yeah man it's all about travel with the whole passport here it is man let's take a quick little 360 of these things here you know what man these things are really freaking nice i must say the whole upper of the shoe is this netting materials here as you guys can see it is throughout the entire shoe and yes you can cut it up and there is leather underneath it i would not be doing that this one to me out of all three this might look the best cut up i don't know uh, if there's any any pictures of someone that did that let me know because i'm not at the yellow stitching throughout it has that little laker touch to it the white material like i said this netting material definitely it reminds me of that off-white five onto the nike swoosh here you have this reflective nike swoosh as you guys can see and have like a, some of the axis of this thread here and i guess that's where you start off if you were to take this apart la or union la tag here got the union logo on the heels right here with the little angel jump man i believe in white then move on the heels here you have that nike on the heels here and then this is also reflective as well move on to the laces here you have that white flat rope laces the tongue is that also covered in that knitting material as well but if you were to cut this up it would be nylon just like how it would be on like you know some of the other dunks as well you do have the purple tag here in the yellow nike air on the tag on the top come with an extra set of laces here it comes with this purple set of laces and then inside the insole that purple nylon uh sock liner inside and then inside the insole you have the purple uh, insole with the yellow nike inside uh, it does come with the hang tag just like on all the nike or the union dunks and it has that whole like you know t like the check-in bags here the check-in claim look at this that's a nike collaboration with union and on the other side this is where the check-in just kind of have like that you know baggage claim you know had that whole vibe to it that whole passport and take a look at the uh white mid midsole here stitched throughout and the cool part about the union dunks is this translucent outsole as you guys can see it and it has the little logo uh angel man right here and it's in yellow can barely see it though it is translucent but it's, it is there as want to get on that drip grip guys use my discount code jumperman10 save you a little bit of money it is the best soul protector on the market today see protect your soles from getting dirty and yellow especially with these translucent sole here it will probably look all crazy looking once it gets all nasty looking and look already worn these at a sneaker event all day and they look just fine and they're still good to go so make sure you guys get on that drip grip guys use my discount code jumperman10 Here you guys have it these are the core purples i believe from the union dunk uh passport edition and like i said this colorway i know i think a lot of people are, this is probably gonna be people's 
least favorite of the colorways or maybe favorite you know i still say it's a good colorway i actually like these things i'm just gonna have to, actually i'm gonna try to put a fit together to put these things in man i probably had to wear like a kobe t or something like that some laker gear or something but overall i think it's still a clean looking shoe you know that white vibe too with the purple i think it looks great but this being probably the least favorite of the three i think this will probably be the lowest price point in my opinion compared to the aragons and the pistachios but I still say right now is a good time to buy these things if you are trying to either get a, a personal collection or you just maybe you want to try investing these things. I probably won't invest too heavy in them. I mainly just got this colorway uh, as a personal. You know what? I'm glad that I was able to complete the passport pack from Union. So and I have the whole Union collection now and I'm going to be working on the two. So stay tuned. I will have the whole two collection. I'm going to be working on that. Hopefully I can get a decent you know, a pair for a decent price and we'll probably make some videos about that too as well. So just stay tuned to the channel guys. Anyway guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Chris. Peace.